The integration of Google Analytics with HCL Digital Experience was introduced with Portal 9.5 CF19. Google Analytics provides a way for website owners to collect data on the visitors of their site, their activity, and their interactions. In this video, I'll walk through the steps to integrate Google Analytics with Portal 9.5 CF19. Reviewing the documentation, there are a couple of main steps to set this up. The first step is to add the Google Analytics aggregator.js file from the portal server slash doc slash JS samples directory to the theme used by the page. The second step is to add um, these page parameters here to the pages we want to track. I'll just copy over the parameters to my text editor now. So let's begin. Here's my portal 9.5 CF19 environment. As you can see, I've created two custom themes based on the default portal 8.5 theme. One is web dev based and the other is war based. I've also created a couple of pages and assigned these themes to the pages. I haven't made any real customizations to these themes but I've applied different styles so we can visually see these pages are using different themes. So first, I'll add the Google Analytics aggregator.js file to both of my themes. Using my FTP client, I'll connect to my portal server, navigate to the portal server slash doc slash JS dash samples directory, and download the Google Analytics aggregator.js file locally. Now for the war based theme, I need to add this to the static resources under the JS directory. So here's my static project and here's the JS directory. So I'll just drag the file from my local machine to the project. Now I just need to export out the year. And I'll add GA to the name to let myself know that this year file has the Google Analytics JS file. Now using the WAS admin console, I'll simply update my theme application. For the web dev, base theme, it's much easier since the static resources are stored in web dev. I'll just connect to the FS type one entry point using my web dev client, navigate to my themes JS directory, and upload the Google Analytics aggregator.js file. After updating my themes, I'll quickly use the theme analyzer portlet to invalidate my theme cache. One thing to note, regardless of whether I have a war based theme or a web dev based theme, I need to make sure the theme profile includes the WP underscore analytics underscore aggregator module. In my case, the deferred profile is the default profile on both of my themes, which is the same for the portal 8.5 theme. And as we can see, this module is already included so I didn't have to update any of my profiles. The second part is to update the page 
with the required parameters. For this, we need some details from Google Analytics. Now, I will admit I'm not a Google Analytics expert. I'm sure there are a lot of bells and whistles with this software, but I'm just going to do the least amount of work to get this working. So I'm signed on this browser with my Google account. And when I visit analytics.google.com, I'm presented with this page with a button to get started. I'll enter an account name. Uh, I'll enter a property name here. and create guests agree to terms. And save my email preferences. Now I have a website, so I'll create a web data stream. And I'm just using HTTP. Enter my host name. and give this stream a name. So I know this measurement ID is one of the parameters I need, so I'll copy that over to my text editor. And it appears I just need to update the measurement ID in the URL and the other parameter but I can quickly grab the whole URL from this section here. Okay, so now I have those details. I can update my pages with those properties. Placing the page in edit mode. I can open the page settings. Then edit the properties. And under advanced, I can add page properties. With those set, I'll save the page. Now, first to verify the theme is using the Google Analytics Aggregator.js file that I added, I need to check the network tab in the developer's tools for that file. And there it is. So my theme is working, and with those properties set, I should see something in Google Analytics. I'll go to the real-time section, and we can see one user visited my war-based theme page three times since I refreshed the page a few times. So this appears to be working.
Now I'll just repeat those same steps for the web dev theme page. And save the page. Inspect the network tab again after refreshing the page. And there we see the Google Analytics Aggregator.js file being served. So going back to Google Analytics, and it still shows one user um, since I'm accessing the same page on the same browser, um, but we now see that there's two different pages were accessed. So both of my themes are working successfully and we're getting data from both of the pages. Now, there are additional features such as using custom dimensions with additional page properties. However, in this video, I just demonstrated the basic integration. If you're interested in additional functionality, please refer to the product documentation. Thank <laughs> you.